Hi everyone and welcome to Roads to Forever. I'm Terry, and in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to heal stomach ulcers fast. And yes, I have a background as a nurse and a fitness nutrition specialist, but it's not from that lens which I'm going to share today's tips on how to heal a stomach ulcer fast. I'm gonna share these tips with you because I myself have suffered from an ulcer and these are the very things that I did to heal my ulcer fast without any medicine or antibiotics. So before you go and make any drastic changes to your diet or decide to ignore the opinion of your own healthcare provider, I just want to remind you that these are my opinions and these are the things that I personally did as a way to heal my ulcer. And this is based on my own background knowledge as a fitness nutrition specialist, also as a nurse. So I made these decisions knowing that there could possibly be consequences, but also knowing in my own mind that I wanted a way to heal my body using foods without using any medicines. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about an ulcer and what causes an ulcer because obviously if you have searched this video, you've already spent hours on Google looking at what are the symptoms, what are the causes, what are the risk factors, what can this lead to? So you already know those things, right? So you know that being a woman, someone who smokes excessively, if you are someone who has been infected with the H. pylori bacteria, if you had long-term use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatories like aspirin or ibuprofen, then you know all of these things can contribute to you having an ulcer. So I'm just going to dive right in and tell you what things I use specifically when I was going through this whole process of dealing with an ulcer. So I would either start my day with cabbage juice and literally I would go and buy a whole head of cabbage and then I would just chop that up and put it right in my Vitamix and I would then juice that through my nut milk bag and I would drink that just like it is. And trust me, the taste is not that great, but when you're in pain and you need to you know, <laughs> stop the pain, you're gonna do whatever you need to do in that moment. So I would start with cabbage juice. The next thing that I would do, would I would drink aloe vera juice. And so I will make sure that I link all of these products in the description box below. So just click below if you wanna know what these products are and there'll be direct links to Amazon if you wanna purchase any of these products yourself. And so, like I said, it was either cabbage juice or aloe vera juice. And um, I all would actually buy the big bottle of aloe vera juice as well from Trader Joe's and I would drink that or sip on it throughout the day and that would kind of help my stomach not feel as inflamed um, you know so those were the first things that I did the next thing I did was to make sure I would drink eight ounces of bone broth and so I drank bone broth because I knew that bone broth had two important amino acids glutamine and proline and their job basically is to help with healing the stomach lining so I would make sure that I drank eight ounces of bone broth every single day as a way to help heal my stomach lining the next thing on my healing foods list was DGL or deglycerinated licorice root extract. And so what I would do is I'd eat this about 15 to 30 minutes before I had a meal. I would actually chew on this and it would actually kind of coat your stomach. And so when you were eating your food, it would not burn your, your stomach. So DGL is definitely a must have if you're going to try to heal your ulcer naturally. Next thing on my list was turmeric and to this day I still as you can see I have examples of these products because I still use them but turmeric is so great because it has anti-inflammatory properties and so I would eat um, you know things like salmon and sardine which are great with omega-3s and they have these healthy fats in them and so they're great if you're dealing with an ulcer and so I would when I would cook my salmon and my sardines I would sprinkle a little bit of my turmeric on there and this was a great way to help with healing my stomach ulcer. And so I'm talking about, you know, making sure you're eating certain foods throughout the day. And I said I followed an anti-inflammatory diet, so I didn't eat any grains. So this was about for three weeks I did this while, you know, I got my stomach healed. And so I had no grains. I just removed those things from my diet. I removed the processed foods, the pizza, the chips, the soda, all of those things were out of my diet. And I really focused on, like I said, fruits and vegetables. So I would have salmon um, with, you know, steamed cabbage, or I would have sardines with like steamed broccoli. And those were really what I focused on throughout the day as a way to heal my ulcer when 
thinking about foods to eat. Also, I made sure I was eating these really large meals. I was eating small meals to give my stomach some time to rest and to heal so that it wasn't doing too much digesting. So these were just little tips that I'm sharing with you that I did and hopefully they may be helpful for you as well. The next thing on my list that is a must have is kefir. And I know some people say kefir, so um, I'm just gonna say kefir and let's call it a day. And I would buy this because it has great probiotics and so you wanna make sure that you have good probiotics in your stomach. So I was um, at Whole Foods buying you know, kefir and I would drink little bits of that as well um, at some point through the day. And you don't have to necessarily um, drink kefir, you could just buy a really good probiotic supplement and and that will serve um, as a way to help you get good bacteria into your gut as well. As I've said before, all the links to the products I've mentioned in this video are in the description box down below. So make sure you click on those links if you want to know exactly what those products are if you didn't have a chance to write them down. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, share with your friends, and subscribe for more awesome content just like this. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.